As a member of Congress representing a district in the U.S.-Mexico border, I understand the importance of technology to achieving improved situational awareness, enhanced security, and improved facilitation of legitimate traffic along our nation's borders. The Department of Homeland Security has for years attempted to delay various kinds of technology to the borders with mixed results. To be fair, identifying, acquiring, and deploying the right mix of border security technology is no easy task. Technology evolves over time. The flow of border crossers and illicit traffic changes. And America's borders are varied places with different geography, terrain, and climate, meaning that what works in Arizona may not work in South Texas and likely will not work on our northern borders. It is important that this committee conduct careful oversight of CBP's ongoing border security te technology efforts, including the Arizona Border Surveillance Technology Plan and deployment of integrated fixed towers in Arizona, procurement of mobile surveillance technologies, and the use of Predator B unmanned aircraft. The Government Accountability Office has reported on the Arizona Border Surveillance Technology Plan, identifying management, scheduling, and cost concerns similar to, similar to those that contributed to SBI Net's problems. I hope to hear from our GAO witness today about whether and how those issues are being addressed by CBP. Given my particular interest in South Texas, I also hope to hear from our witnesses about the border security technologies in use or planned for the South Texas region. For example, I understand that there was a protest with the contract award for mobile video surveillance system units, which consist of short and medium range mobile surveillance equipment mounted on telescoping masts mounted on Border Patrol vehicles. Many of the projected 297 units are slated for deployment in the Rio Grande Valley, and I hope to learn what the revised timeline is for deployment. I also know that the weather in Corpus Christi has proven challenging for flying CBP's Predator Bs prompting the agency to fly the aircraft from other locations. I hope to hear from CBP about how these issues have affected situational awareness along the border in South Texas, if at all. Finally, I hope we can have a frank discussion with our witnesses about how CBP can best position its ongoing border security technology programs for success. I thank the witnesses for joining us today, and I yield back.